back to my channel. It's your girl Stephanie K. Today we will be doing a home album review. Um, yeah, guys. If you guys can tell by the title, today I am reviewing um the new home album on the market by Distraction Boys. The name of the album is called From the Streets to the World. It's by Distraction Boys. Two Zoo boys named Golmex and Q and together they go by Distraction Boys. Um the album was released on the eighth of November. I paid eighty rands for the album on Google Music Store and it has fourteen tracks there. Now I'm just going to give you my personal opinion on the album. Like I said, the album has fourteen tracks. And it's definitely gum. It's gum. I love gum. And when I tell you, ooh, when I tell you that this album could not have come at a better time for me personally, I mean, this was. Uh, I'm grateful that this album came out now because, yeah, what I've been listening to, guys, guys, South Africa is killing me. This is Distraction Boys. It's their third album. Um, first album I did do a review of the album. I will try to link it if I can in the description box. Uh, the name of the album is called. Oh my gosh. The name of the album is called um, Call Mr. Future. That was a great album. That was a banger. Of an album was great. Um, second album was called It Was All a Dream. I didn't do a review on that. I don't know. I I felt like it was the same, so to say. I felt like it was the same as the first album. So in my mind, when I listened to the second album, I just felt like, okay, no, they could have just added all of these songs onto the previous album. I think musicians or any artist, when you release a project, it, they needs to be, it needs to be somewhat better than your previous project. It needs to be. Because if it's going to be exactly the same, then what's the point? And this one is the third album is called From the Streets to the World and I will say that it is like a South African version of EDM, a home version of EDM. Their first song, the first song on the album is called Welcome to EGM, which is Welcome to Electronic Home Music. So that song itself sets the tone for the rest of the of the album it's gum it's like a fusion of gum and edm you can prominently hear edm influences on this album it's basically a fusion of edm and gum and it is it's like a few it's very it's very tomorrow it's very tomorrow yeah that's what i'm trying to say and they were trying to i feel like that's what they were trying to do they were trying to blur the racial lines in terms of music taste because not many black people in this country listen to um, I'm sorry EDM not many people EDM is mostly like white people music right and then you have GOM which is definitely a black, black people music my favorite songs on the album I have I love the whole album. I love the whole album. I listen to the whole album. But songs that I will go back to play again. So like once the song is over and then I will go back and replay the song. Maybe once again. Um, the song called Nevermind. Nevermind features... Oh, I don't know how to pronounce this name is Z H A O Vow. That's my actual favorite track. I actually replay this song maybe a few times before moving on. Um, Ingozi is also 
Ingles is my jam. Um, Ingles is my favorite song too. Um, Monster. It's a banger. Monster has this. I'm not sure if they're doing a drum or a stick or is it a stick? I'm not sure, but they have that thing. Mm. Anyway, if you've listened to the song, or you've, you'll understand where I'm going with it. Monster has that, and I don't know, it, it invokes something in me. I don't know. Spirits. <laughs> In conclusion, I'll rate the album 10 out of 10. I think if you are a gom lover, definitely cop the album. If you are an EDM lover, then definitely cop the album. Um, yeah, that's it from me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, share, and subscribe. See you guys in another video.